The Evolver add-in allows you to maximize or minimize a selected objective cell by varying selected adjustable cells. The mechanics of setting up an optimization model in Evolver and then optimizing are covered in the Evolver Quick Start tutorial, so you should view that tutorial first if you haven't already done so. Evolver provides a tremendous amount of flexibility in the types of models you can optimize. Much of this is due to the addition of new algorithms in Evolver 6.0. In particular, Evolver is now capable of optimizing linear programming, that is LP, models, traditionally the most popular type of optimization models in the business world and in other areas. Because of their linearity, there are no nonlinear functions such as squares, square roots, and logarithms, and there are no non-smooth features such as those introduced by if functions. LP models are relatively easy to solve if the appropriate algorithms are used. Specifically, the simplex method and variations of it, which are now built into Evolver, are capable of solving large LP problems very quickly, and they guarantee that an optimal solution will be found. The production process model you see here is a small but not necessarily simple LP model. A company produces three products, A, B, and C. However, two units of product A are used in the production of one unit of product B. And, similarly, one unit of product A and one unit of product B are used in the production of one unit of product C. Any units of the products produced that aren't used in the production of other products can be sold at the unit selling prices shown. The production of the products requires the labor hours listed in row 8, and only 8,000 labor hours are available. Also, the company policy limits the sales of product C to 500 units. The problem is to find the production quantities in row 13 that maximize profit. The Evolver model definition is shown here. Note that an upper bound of 8,000 has been placed on the production quantities. Given the hour availability, no more than 8,000 units of any product could possibly be produced. Also, there are three constraints, as indicated by the inequality labels in the model worksheet. This constraint, the maximum sales constraint, and our availability constraint. This last constraint, the one for these two rows, has been called non-negative sales because the difference between rows 13 and 15 are what can be sold. When you click the Evolver Start button to perform the optimization, the solution is found almost instantaneously. There it is. As shown here, all three products are produced, but only products B and C are sold. All of product A that is produced is used in the production of products B and C. Of course, you could change model parameters, such as the selling price of product A, and then rerun the optimization to see how sensitive the optimal solution is to these parameters. For example, if you change the selling price of product A from $10 to $20, and then re-optimize, you can see that the optimal solution is to produce and sell only product A. You should be aware that LP models use a special algorithm built into Evolver 6.0. It is neither the genetic algorithm nor the OptQuest algorithm you see if you check Manual in the Engine tab of the Evolver Settings dialog box. It isn't either of these. Therefore, you should keep the default automatic engine setting for LP models. If you have used the Solver Optimization add-in built into Excel, you might know that it has a limit of 200 adjustable cells. There is no such limit in Evolver. The version of the basic transportation model you see here illustrates this distinction. The problem is to find the minimum cost set of shipments from manufacturing sites, M1 to M10, to retail locations, R1 to R25, 
subject to capacity constraints at the manufacturers and demand constraints at the retailers. There is an adjustable cell for each manufacturer-retailer combination for a total of 250 adjustable cells. Therefore, Solver cannot handle this model. However, Evolver can solve it easily, as I will do right now. There is the optimal solution. The Evolver model definition is shown here. Note that it automatically uses range names for the various ranges if they are defined in the model worksheet. Also note that the variable type for the adjustable cells is any. You could change this to integer if it makes more physical sense for this particular problem, but this isn't necessary. The special structure of transportation models guarantees that if the capacities and demands are integers, the optimal shipments will also be integers. This is fortunate because LP models with integer adjustable cells are considerably more difficult to solve.